Hey guys, what's up? It is me, iPod Touch Helping here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new 4.0 firmware that will be available very soon for you guys. So right here, what we do is we slide to unlock, just like always, nothing too different. But uh, right away, you guys see that we can change the wallpaper now without being jailbroken. As you guys can see, I am jailbroken already, but without the jailbreak, you can even use do some new customizations, which is pretty cool. And the calculator icon and the voice memos icons has all have also changed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly show you guys how to change that wallpaper. And uh, what you do is you simply go into settings, you click on wallpaper, you can click your lock screen or the home screen and uh, then you click save photos and you pick a photo and I always just pick this one and now you can set it as lock screen, home screen or both. I'll just set for both and there we go. It's as simple as that. So that's one new feature that's really cool. Another one which is definitely one of the best new things out there is multitasking which watch this. I double click the home button and as you guys can tell we got multitasking available down here. So I can open up settings really quickly and then from settings I can go straight into my calendar just like that which is a really good new feature that everybody should like I'm not sure exactly how many different thing apps that you can open up but uh, you can definitely open up a lot of apps so if I want to open up notes real quick like that and there we go now I've got more than one page full of icons that I can multitask with so this is going to be really good if you're listening to like a Pandora radio or something like that. And if you want to get rid of some stuff, you can just hold down and just click the little uh, delete buttons like that. It's really easy. Another really good feature that uh, has been available for the jailbroken iPods and iPhones is making folders. So to do this, it's really simple. You do it just like this. You hold down on an icon. And let's say I want to put contacts in with calendar, or sorry, contacts in with calculator. I simply put it over that icon, drop it, and there we go. We can name it whatever we want, whether we want to name it productivity or Cal. I'll just name it Cal for this video. It doesn't matter what I name it. And uh, you can just add as many icons as you want in there. If you take a closer look at that icon right there, uh, you can tell that it actually has both the calculator and contacts uh, icons very small right there, which is pretty cool. Those three features were really the main features available for the iPod Touch and iPhone with the new 4.0 firmware coming out. And uh, there are some other little minor things that were that came out. And uh, if you guys want, I could talk about those. So uh, what they are are um, some of the minor features, for example, are in the mail. In the mail, you can now search through your mail. So I can find something from, let's say I want to find a, uh, one of my emails from Swagbucks. I just searched SWA and there we go. I got an email from Swagbucks right there and I can open it up. Another cool thing about that mail is that you can actually f uh, look through uh, all your emails in one category instead of going back and forth through each email. Uh, here's another really big feature is this game center right here. So what it is, it's kind of like Xbox Live um, in my opinion, uh, I don't know too much about it, but basically you're going to be able to add friends, create points, and it's basically going to be uh, a good way to show your achievements in different games. So it's going to add some new good gaming features. And the last feature I'm going to talk about isn't too big, but uh, it's pretty good. What you do is you search iPod Touch a Helping, for, for example, iPod Touch Helping. That's just an example. And what you can do now is search it search it through the web. Here we go, and it'll search it right there through the web for you, which is pretty cool. I do like that feature. Definitely another good one. But uh, yeah, if you guys would like to see me make a video on 4.0 versus 3.0 firmware, I could definitely do that. Um, so leave a comment down below if what you guys want me to make my next video on. Hopefully you like this video, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.